AD 2000X. Household Robots Rock and Roll were created by Master Robot Designer Dr. Light and were enjoying their peaceful days. Then one day, the industrial robots all over the world went on a rampage and the world fell into total chaos. Dr. Light quickly realized that mad scientist Dr. Wiley was behind the nefarious deed, but he didn't know what to do. Rock, having a strong sense of justice, volunteered to be converted into a fighting robot. Thus the super robot Mega Man was born. Mega Man shattered Dr. Wily's plans three times, and world peace has been maintained so far, but history repeats itself. Dr. Kosek, a mysterious scientist, has invented eight powerful robots and sent them after Mega Man. Mega Man starts for the battle again. This time, equipped with the powerful new Mega Buster. Hello everyone, Trenti here. Welcome to Mega Man 4. Thanks in the back stand for reading that intro there. And also, oh, this song is so good. I say it for like every intro in Mega Man games, but seriously, so good. All right, let's get started. Eight new Robot Masters, eight new chumps. Toad Man is the first in the chopping block. Toad Man, he's useless. So, Mega Man 4, we got one new toy to play with, at the, well at the very start, there's more, but if you fire a shot and hold on the fire button, we now have uh, charge shots. So that's cool. We can still slide, they didn't take that away from us or anything. Oh lord. So Tone Man stage starts off kind of perilous. Gotta deal with the rain physics that will push you back, or you know, push you with it if you're going left for some reason. So I have to be a little bit more careful than I need to be with, with jumps. These little penguin boys here are going to fly through and then once they get bored of flying straight they'll try to come right for you, like that. Alright, we're almost done here. Whoa. Yeah, just fucking get out of here. Alright, so now we're inside in the sewer, but we're not done with currents yet. That would be silly to think. So here we have some rats and some wannabe Metroid looking dudes. So I'm gonna, like, I really don't use charge shots that often, but it's just really convenient for these guys. Oh god, holy shit. Okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let this Metroid dude come through. Alright, sorry. <laughs> it's kind of a stressful few rooms. So we're gonna be coming against our first mid-boss here. It's a giant snail. Shoot it in the eyes when it opens. Uh, just be careful, because alongside throwing bombs, he will sometimes just shoot his eyes at you, like that. Which I'm not prepared for, because he does it so rarely for me, that I'm just so used to the bombs. I don't know if there's like, just like a percent chance or something, or if I'm doing something to make him shoot his eyeballs at me, but you know, it's whatever. It's done. At least for now. So just come on through and avoid the rat, and now we get to fight that mini-boss again. But this time, with water. So, standing on the left, you'll go left, of course, so you have to be careful not to get hit. At least, you know, that close to the edge. If you stand in the middle, you can't jump as far, or as high, but you will at least be stood still. Okay, easy. Alright, so now we're already in the last room in the stage. So, I like to just kind of, you know, have to kill the same thing twice. 
So these fish can be a bit of a pain, especially once they come back around for another piece of action. It's okay though, because if you fall down there and get hit by the fish, you have time to escape out of the spikes. Okay, and this is already to Toad Man. <laughs> now, Toad Man, if he gets an attack off, he's going to hit you regardless. However, he won't be getting an attack off. Uh, one problem with Mega Man 4, though, is how long it takes for this shit to fill up. So all you want to do is just slide under Toad Man whenever he jumps, and just shoot him. Uh, just make sure that if he starts to wiggle, you absolutely get a shot in no matter what, because that will make his rain flush come out. And we ain't trying to flush nothing, alright? I mean, it's really just as simple as that. Rinse and repeat for the whole fight, and he won't do anything but jump around. Which, I mean, toads do do. Toads do jump around. And we have the old school Mega Man. Well, we have the old school Mega Man intro thing for the Robot Masters with like a little like, you know, like hi hat essentially. <laughs> and then we have that. So that's that's pretty good. Nice 3D plane for weapons get weapon get things now. You got Ring Flush. And for the Toad Man stage, we also get Rush Marine, which is really useless in this game. Like I don't think there's, I don't think I ever like. I don't even know if there's a place you could use it. So, next up on the list is Bright Man. Because if you got rain, you can turn off the lights. Or something. Bright Man's got a funky stage theme. So, we have these two enemies here. One of them that shoots out fireworks, one of them that is a light bulb. Uh, kill the light bulb, and the stage goes dark. Kill the fireworks man, and he shoots the fireworks to make the stage get bright again. Uh, if you're like me, and you accidentally just killed the light man, uh, if you wait around for a couple of seconds, and by a couple of seconds I mean a while, the stage lights come back on. Sorry, there are some jumps in this stage that I'm not very comfortable with, especially one section, one side section you don't even have to do. Alright, so these totem holes can kind of suck a ding dong for being real. Alright, so here we have some grasshopper boys. Alright, thankfully I killed that thing. Trying to get flushed with the cricket, grasshopper man. Now, uh, you cannot jump over the totems because they will jump up with you. Alright, so now there's this guy. This one is probably the easiest one in the game to fight. Because you have so much room to dodge his upper attacks when he shoots the red thing and the regular shots won't get you. Alright, so these guys take two shots killed, be mindful of that. And they attach to the ceiling until you either get close enough and they fall, or you can shoot them down. Alright, almost done with this part here. Slide to the next room. And now you're presented with a choice. Right is progression. However, down here, we can get ourselves an E-Tank and an extra life. So, getting over here, not a problem. It's really easy. You just jump across these platforms, the green one will go back and forth. So just make a jump. But now here comes the difficult part. Having to come back. So, what I like to do is get my foot to the edge. You can go one to two pixels off the edge and still jump. And that will be all you need. So now that we're over here, we call out a rush coil. And we're good. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was really scared to do that. So now that we've done that, we get to go on more grasshoppers. However, be careful with this part, because some of these grasshopper boys will kind of get stuck on each other like that. Okay. Ooh. Like, you can get some really weird patterns and get really, like, tossed up and confused. Okay, and we're good. We have this one guy here, but who cares about him? He can sit and spin. I'm just going to get rid of that so you don't have to hear it. Alright, so now that we're here... Uh... Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to take a second. So this guy's going to shoot his thing, and it's just going to follow us. 
I'm just gonna let it go by me here. Now, if you're quick, you can just scroll it off screen. Okay, so if you're like me and at this point you have Bright Man's weakness, I'm gonna give you a tip. Shoot him once with the Mega Buster before you switch over. So I'm just gonna shoot him once, go over to the Toad Weapon, because at 12, 20, and 24, he's going to use his move, the, the Flash Stopper, which makes you freeze in place, and then he gets a free shot on you. So if you just shoot him once, it skips those numbers, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, however, you, you can also use that to your knowledge if you're doing Buster-only runs, to where you kind of count your shots, and then you just kind of try to get him with two quick ones while he's still in the animation of attacking. So you don't have to worry about it. You got Flash Stopper! So Flash Stopper is really useful, actually, in this game. Alright, so now that we got the lights, let's go get more lights. We'll power our lights with solar energy, because that's what Pharaoh Man does. Alright, so this section's kinda... We have these scorpions. It might be worth doing a charge shot just for them, because once they get close to you or hit you, they will just do that. They'll just go right back under. Those guys up above are just gonna be flying around, dropping some shots on you. Gonna try to get the fuck out of here. So you won't die right away from being in the quicksand. You can go down to like the bottom of the screen. Okay, no. Okay, so. You wanna jump over here. Because downwards is progression. However, we have a new toy over here. Worry out here. Worry. Watch out for more scorpions. And now we get over here. And we now have the balloon adapter thing. And I'll be showing that off later. Alright, so now that we have that, this is the next screen we would have been into if we went down. So we have these bat things from Woodman stage again. Not really wanting to show themselves. Oh yeah, these platforms shoot you, by the way. So you can use that to your advantage, I guess. Uh... Oh, Christ. Okay, yeah. You gotta jump before that. That's my bad. Alright, don't fuck up. Okay, cool. We did it. We did it again. I think that may have been the one I was on anyways. Alright, so we can just pull past these, uh, these bats. They don't mean shit. At least it's just another checkpoint room. Alright, so another enemy's gonna be popping up here. Oh. I'm not talking about these platforms. I'm talking about these skeleton boys. Or these mummy boys, rather, because they just kind of come out here and they rip off they, they bandages and shoot their head at you. That's all I know how to do. They out here playing decap attack. They didn't get the memo. This is Mega Man 4. Okay, that's the last one, I think. It's fine. I shouldn't need much health to kill Barrel Man. Now, I know what I've said about not using Turbo, but for this boss, I, I just I need to demonstrate it. Because if you use Turbo, or if you can mash fast enough, you can freeze him in place. <laughs> and also get this beautiful... Oh, fuck. Okay, so that was a mistake. I'm just gonna do this real quick. You just hear that, that tone. I'm just gonna let him fall down now. It's gonna hit me in the face. Okay, there we go. That's, that's perfect. I'm just gonna start tapping this really quick. There we go. I'm not a very good masher. Yeah, just, like, especially in the, the, the rematch, I like, it's just flat ground, so you just go to him and just get that nice, you know, whatever hurts tone that is, kilohertz. You should use that against the, the police when they're using LRADs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Alright, so now we get Pharaoh shot. And Pharaoh Shot is extremely useful. So, um, 
something, something with a ring on it. Ring Man has some good music. Alright, so we're gonna spawn up here and learn right away that not only are turrets bastards, but uh, these rainbow things, they're going to go away whatever side you run on. I highly recommend bringing uh, the rain flush out, because it is, it is such a godsend in this part of the stage. For every stream while you're climbing up, it is 100% beneficial to your life to use it, especially this screen. Oh. Oh, give me that. Okay, so now we're done with them. Go ahead and get my Mega Buster back out. Actually, I should have got Flash Stopper, because we have a new mini boss, which will have a lot of those in this game, as you'll see. So, you can use. Right man's weapon for this. You just knock down the pedestals, and then you shoot the hippo himself. And once he's gone, so are the missiles. You would also go ahead and use it like in this spot just to not to deal with enemies, I guess. Ooh, okay, another mini boss coming up. I don't know, I guess, I mean, it's weird to call him a mini-boss, but you know what I mean. So these guys shoot rings out and you shoot them in the eyes. The same eyes as the snail, I just realized. Oh, sorry. More. Though, so you just... Yeah, the, the Bright Stopper is just so good in this stage in particular because of all the mini-bosses. Essentially, wherever there is a mini-boss like this in the stage, you can use Bright Stopper to fuck him up. So I should really... I only have to use it one more time. So who knows, maybe... Uh, actually, you know what? No. Rush Coil, no. So here's the balloon. It's essentially item one from Mega Man 2. And now if we go up here, we get Eddie. So I'll just go ahead and get my thing here in case... Oh, the E-Tank. Eddie, you're so nice. <laughs> I'll be using that later. Alright, so these guys kind of suck. If they get close to you... They will go into a invincible shell state, and then you just become, you know, hurt machines. Okay, so now these will go... So if you go from here... Oh god. Um, yeah, I'm just going to clear the screen. What I'm trying to say is that if you go on these... Oh god, you can jump and be fine. Just make sure you actually jump before it's too late. Okay, so on the upper path now, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the flash stopper. Christ. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just use this, because this will at least kill the enemies. Jump. Ooh, okay. You can make this jump, by the way. There you go. Alright, well, hopefully I can refill my health before the fight, because I'm not good at at this man, this ring man fellow. Okay, so one last use of Flash Stopper coming up. I forgot about this section. Good, I'm so glad I got that at just the right time. Oh yeah, those will still come out and kill you anyways. I can't tell if there's more after this. Okay, no. Okay, so even if I die, I'll have enough Pharaoh shot. So let's give this a go. Alright, so Ring Man, I don't really have a handle on his pattern. Definitely harder than the last two. Alright, round two, you ring heaven bastard. Okay, so it's the curves that get me the most. But after that, it's fine. Yeah, it's just like... 
when he throws one low and then jumps or throws one high and then runs and it curves, that's what fucks me up. But I, I actually got a handle on the actual like in opening of the fight now. Green boomerang. Alright, well uh you always hate vacuuming up things that are like a ring when you're vacuuming, so let's go put rings in Dustman's hole. Look, I'm an expert at this shit, okay? Dustman's got a very foreboding theme. He also got shield fuckers and metools. Uh, metools can eat every dick imaginable in this game. Speaking of eating dicks, uh, these enemies too. Because they are the up and downs of this game. They just exist to fuck you up if you become too, uh, you know, frantic with jumping in over large pits. Especially when you miss every time. So you gotta, like, wait an extra cycle. I'm just hoping that they give me some cool stuff. Which they won't. There's nothing over here. But, you know. You can dream, I guess. Uh, I want that, though. There's something new over here. Oh, yeah. These guys. Kind of like from Mega Man 1 and stuff, but easy to kill. It's kind of nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's, uh... Not so much a visible block section, it's just... Block section. So if you know where these are coming from, you could, like, potentially, like, you know, jump early there and almost die from the spikes, but you'll land on the blocks. These guys can be kind of annoying, depending on the angle they come from. Like that. But it's fine. He maybe gave me health. I can't tell because everything's flashing. Huh. Okay, that guy's cool. Um... Okay, it's fine. We'll... It's not fine. Nothing's fine. Fine is an illusion. <laughs> okay, I'm a little afraid of this room coming up. Oh, what's up, Eddie? Uh, I don't need that. I needed that last time I saw you. So this room's got crushers. That's the gimmick here. Uh, you can break every single block you want for this, because this is not going to affect where and how things crush. Uh, you can also maybe do this and get multiple. Okay, yeah, that's the much better option. I'm just gonna hold off, and then just come through now it's raising again. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, there are some mech tools that will spin around in place, and they require three shots to kill, as opposed to the one that the other ones do. Okay, maybe this is still just the better fucking option for this. And I can stand under here, I'm not going to get crushed. You'll know when you're going to get crushed. Yeah, so over here is where you'll start to worry about getting crushed. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all the things here. Because we'll have to probably slide back and forth through here. At least I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay, I don't like that. Like I kind of like jerked back. Okay, we're good now. All right, one last crusher to worry about before we get out of here. And we should be almost done with the stage. We have another one of these guys. Now, when those guys, like, open up their mouth to shoot, like, a buster, you know, a regular shot at you, you want to jump pretty quick after. Okay, so, a met tool over spikes. What can go wrong? Yeah, see, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Those guys swing around like little ballerinas, and they're cute. But, my tools are still mean in this game. And maybe those guys are complete pushovers in this game, unlike Mega Man 1 and 3. Alright, so go ahead and get Ring the Ring equipped. And then, it is time to fight a vacuum. <laughs> so, he'll shoot his dust at you. And it shoots in that, you know, 
four corners type of shot. Otherwise, he'll just suck you in. I think he's giving me a really decent pattern here. And by that, I mean he's not owning me. Okay, well now this is getting annoying. Because <laughs> you really don't have a chance to hit him before he starts vacuuming again. But boom, he's dead. <sighs> Alright, well, I have time to probably kill one more boss before I hit my half hour. So I got a little bit to cut out. You got Dust Crusher! You know, like, there was like one pessimist to make that a C, and not a no. Dust or Rusher. Alright, so now that we have the power of Dust, we can kill a Skull. I don't know why, I mean, you think that Skulls and, and Dust get along pretty well, because if, a, if there's a Skull hanging around, it's probably old and, you know, in Cinderhunt for a while. Skull Man's theme's fucking bop. The Mega's version of it is also incredible. How many times have I said that now about different Robo Master themes in this game? I almost ate shit. Yeah, just keep firing as you're running ahead. Ooh, nice, extra life. That makes up for the one I wasted in Feral Man stage. But I'll never get my eel back from that one. Yeah, this one... Oh god, looking at my fucking cannon is insane, bro. It's fine, you back at full health, baby. I always like the way Skull Man stage looks. So we have these guys. You shoot them once with a regular shot, they fall down. You gotta use a power shot to uh, make them die forever, not just crumble. Before the Zod or something. Yeah, there's gonna be more shields. Shields aren't too bad of an enemy, to be honest. Easy enough to dodge. Especially even if you like don't have to jump over them, you do anyways, because you're an idiot. Oh, what's up, buddy? Thanks. Now, I thought there was a skeleton man around here, which is why I was charging up running here. Oh, maybe up here. I don't recall there's anything up here. Maybe like an E-Tank or an Extra Life. Yeah, we can't do anything with that guy. Oh. We can be mad about him, though. Fire your shot. Okay. I hate enemies that just do that to me, man. Like, charge shots get rid of things so much quicker. It's just a shame you have to listen to it for so long. Uh, I'm a little afraid to do this, I'm not gonna lie. I think I tried this earlier, or one of my test playthroughs, and I got owned. But... I made it there, which is all that matters. Gotta watch out for the damn caterpillar again. Oh shit. Okay. As long as that dude can't shoot behind him. Okay. I don't know, I, I, I jump a little bit caref more carefully when I'm on camera than I am when I'm playing normally. Because if I'm just playing normally with no one watching me, I'll probably just rewind. Oh yeah, I fucking love this. I love that it changes to like a... A red background. Yeah, get fucked, bitch. Gotta be careful with this one. Uh, you don't give me that shit now? You can just drop that health for me now, brother. Oh, at least it's filling this up before we go fight the boss. Which is good, because I'm not very good at fighting Skullman. Let's go ahead and get the Dust Crusher equipped. How many lives do I got? One? Oh, I, I die in Ringman Stage 2. That's right. <laughs> okay, well, I better get good at this. Huh. So he'll run at you, or he'll jump at you or something first. Shoot. Okay, when he has his skull barrier up, you can't shoot him. Wow, this is the best skull man fight I've ever had. God damn. That felt pretty good, not gonna lie. I don't know, there will be a few places, especially in one of the wily stages where you can 
easily like farm items if you needed to or wanted to. I might be using one such place in Dive Man stage. Oh, well, I guess it really depends if I need extra lives that bad. Alright, well now that we've killed six of the eight Robot Masters, that'll do it for this episode of Mega Man 4. Go ahead and save, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time when we take on these two guys and then take on the first of two castles. Uh-oh, spoilers.